The Bank of England has raised its benchmark rate by 75 basis points, its biggest hike in 33 years, to 3%. This means that the cost of borrowing money in the UK has increased significantly, affecting millions of people and businesses. But why did the bank do this and how will it impact you and your money? The main reason for the rate hike is to fight inflation, which is the general increase in the prices of goods and services over time. Inflation reduces the purchasing power of money, meaning that you can buy less with the same amount of money. The Bank of England has a target of keeping inflation at 2%, but in December 2022, inflation reached a record high of 10.5%, the highest in the G7 group of wealthy nations. One of the main causes of this surge in inflation was the global energy crisis, which pushed up the prices of gas and electricity. Another factor was the disruption in global supply chains caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and Brexit, which created shortages and delays in many goods. A third factor was the strong recovery in consumer demand after the lockdowns, which increased the pressure on prices. The Bank of England uses interest rates as a tool to control inflation. By raising interest rates, it makes borrowing more expensive and saving more attractive, which reduces the amount of money circulating in the economy. This lowers the demand for goods and services, which helps to bring down inflation. However, raising interest rates also has negative effects on the economy and on people's finances. Higher interest rates mean higher mortgage payments for homeowners and higher loan repayments for businesses and consumers. This reduces their disposable income and spending power, which can slow down economic growth and employment. Higher interest rates also make the pound stronger against other currencies, which makes UK exports more expensive and less competitive. The Bank of England has said that it expects inflation to fall back sharply from its current very elevated level, to around 4% by the end of this year. It has also said that it will monitor closely how quickly and to what extent external and domestic inflationary pressures will abate. The bank has indicated that it may raise interest rates further if inflation remains persistently high. So how does this affect you and your money? Well, it depends on your personal circumstances and financial situation. Here are some general tips to help you cope with higher interest rates. If you have a variable rate mortgage or loan, you may want to consider switching to a fixed rate deal to lock in a lower interest rate for a certain period. However, be aware of any fees or penalties involved in doing so. If you have savings or investments, you may benefit from higher interest rates as you will earn more interest on your money. However, you may also want to diversify your portfolio to hedge against inflation risk and currency fluctuations. If you have debts or credit cards, you may want to pay them off as soon as possible or consolidate them into a lower interest loan. This will reduce your interest payments and help you save money in the long run. If you are planning to buy a house or a car, you may want to postpone your purchase until interest rates fall or negotiate a better deal with the seller or lender. Alternatively, you may want to save up more money for a bigger deposit or down payment to reduce your borrowing costs. If you are planning to travel abroad, you may want to exchange some money in advance or use a credit card that offers low or no foreign transaction fees. This will help you avoid paying more due to a stronger pound. In summary, the Bank of England's rate hike is a response to high inflation caused by various factors. It aims to bring inflation back to its target level by making borrowing more expensive and saving more attractive. However, it also has negative effects on the economy and on people's finances. Therefore, it is important to understand how it affects you and your money and take appropriate actions to protect yourself from its impact. The Bank of England has raised its key interest rate from 0.1% to 0.25%, the first increase since 2018. This rate hike is aimed at bringing down inflation, which is above 10% and well above the bank's target of 2%. But what does this mean for you and your money? Inflation is the general rise in the prices of goods and services over time. It erodes the value of your money and reduces your purchasing power. For example, if inflation is 10%, a 100-pound item today will cost £110 next year. 
To keep up with inflation, you need your income and savings to grow at least as fast as prices. The Bank of England tries to control inflation by adjusting its interest rate, which influences the cost of borrowing and saving in the economy. When inflation is too high, the bank raises its rate to discourage spending and encourage saving. This reduces the demand for goods and services and lowers their prices. When inflation is too low, the bank lowers its rate to stimulate spending and discourage saving. This increases the demand for goods and services and raises their prices. The rate hike will have different effects on different groups of people, depending on whether they are borrowers or savers, and whether they have fixed or variable rates on their loans or deposits. Borrowers will generally face higher costs of servicing their debts, especially if they have variable rates on their mortgages, credit cards, or personal loans. This means they will have less money left over for other expenses or savings. However, some borrowers may benefit from the rate hike if it boosts their income or reduces their inflation expectations. Savers will generally benefit from higher returns on their deposits, especially if they have variable rates on their savings accounts or bonds. This means they will have more money to spend or invest. However, some savers may lose out from the rate hike if it lowers their income or increases their inflation expectations. The rate hike will also affect other aspects of your money, such as your pension, your investments, your exchange rate and your taxes. The impact will depend on various factors, such as the type and duration of your assets and liabilities, the performance of the stock market and the currency market, and the response of the government and other economic agents. The bottom line is that the rate hike is a sign that the Bank of England is concerned about the high level of inflation and its negative effects on the economy and society. The rate hike is aimed at bringing down inflation to a more sustainable level and restoring confidence in the value of money.